Well guys, after a couple days, literally a couple days of uh, pissing around with this dually, Dodge and taking the track lock diff out and actually putting an open diff because we couldn't because we couldn't uh, track down a power lock. I've actually got it and I've had it I had the diff in and out three times and I've had to lay on my back on my creeper I put a uh, just a shim a shim board on my belly um, undo the bolts so I can get my uh, to that I can roll it out onto my stomach and then shim it um, but here's my uh, Here's my wear pattern. I'll zoom in, and I'm not too too much on the heel or the toe, but pretty damn good wear pattern. Sweet. Would have liked to maybe have gotten uh, another shim, maybe you know, four thousandths or whatever, maybe on that side. But that is beautiful, and it's the exact same on the coast. Um, that's the drat drat. Um, hang on, dude. No, okay, that's the coast side. Um, drive side is the exact same absolutely exact but yeah I would have done video of doing the whole thing but I tell you it was such a pain in the butt but we got her done I absolutely got her done and now I've got a buddy showing up uh, I already did uh, actually it's Brandon's buddy um, but uh, ordered him um, I've already done his front brakes and may, I ordered up some really sexy ones. <laughs> nice black and grooved. Um, but, uh, yep, so he looked at it and he's like, and I got it really, really cheap from Prime Choice. So he's like, yep, I want those sexy uh, drums for the rear. So I'm going to slap the rears on his truck. But. Yeah, he really likes the the performance uh, rotors. Um, but yeah, so now all I gotta do is um, put that drive shaft back on and put the plate back on, beat a silicone around it, um, or the differential cover, put it back on, fill it up with fluid. Oh, hang on, no, I gotta put the axle back in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day. It's Wednesday. When uh, it's a thing, Wednesday afternoons, late afternoon, about four o'clock, everybody shows up to hang out and have coffee. Because my buddy Scotty, he gets off of work like three, four-ish on uh, Wednesdays. So he started it. So every Wednesday, it's packed. <laughs> like there's probably about well, there was like eight people here today. Um, yeah, we just sit around, shoot the shit, drink coffee, have a beer. Uh, but yep so I just got to slide my axles in um, yep bolt them up what else universal joint put that back on the yoke um, I had to buy a old-school torque wrench where is it where the heck's my old-school torque wrench I just bought it but uh, you have to have 25 inch pounds of pressure free play without the carrier, without the carrier um, in the differential case. Um, you gotta have about 25 um, inch pounds pressure preload on that uh, the yoke before you put it in. So I did all that. As you can see, I got the pipe. Um, did all that to get my 25 inch pounds with an old school, because nowadays, and it, took forever to hunt down you know I could have eBayed but you know I don't have the time I've got this truck in my shop now um, took forever to hunt down a 
old school torque wrench and I can't find it. It would take me forever to hunt it down again. <laughs> I put it down somewhere, it's not on the bench. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, yeah, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna empty shop again. Sweet. Um, and my daughter helped me uh, take the sway bar off the other Tahoe of my buddy so I can get that bolted up tonight and that's just easy um, but there's the sway bar I'm going to be putting in because it's broken and then he's going to send the truck sorry about the shakiness guys he's going to send the truck to Harry Springs to get the rest of the suspension done um and he's got a bit of a frame problem <laughs> it's a plow truck um but yeah it's absolutely busy day so we had pizza oh there's my little inch pound torque wrench <laughs> but yep yeah. alrighty guys cheers anything else happens tonight i'll try and get on video <laughs> are you a good boy you finally home you finally at the shop good boy go eat come on you going go eat Good boy. Well, he's been out all day. You're a good boy. Go eat. Daddy just filled your food. <laughs> but anyway, it's late. I'm still working on this Dodge. Had a couple beer. Well, a few beer. Um, and Herm was really hoping to get his truck back tonight. Well, he screwed himself. <laughs> he brought a u-joint for the truck and he says dude take a look at that u-joint check it out you know okay so i checked out his universal joint got his drive shaft off there's the new u-joint but i'll get to that in a second and the old u-joint just pieces absolute pieces um this is the grinding he would have been hearing but Got that one pressed out, and it's junk. There's the new one in, but look at that. Wrong, wrong one. <laughs> so there goes his chance of getting his truck back tonight, which really sucks because it's ready to go out. It was ready to go out the door, but that screws my night too absolutely screws my night because I was hoping get this out of here get the Tahoe in here and put the sway bar in and get that out tomorrow morning but no <laughs> nothing ever goes as planned <laughs> absolutely nothing um yeah oh man this sucks <laughs> Alrighty, cheers guys. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna tidy up. This is pretty much back together, other than the drive shaft. Um, yeah, that blows. So, tomorrow morning, gotta do a U joint. Alright, cheers guys. I'm gonna get cleaned up and get the hell out of here. <laughs>